Hello Lana. Welcome to Agriculture Lesson for Grade 5. Today we are going to learn about the domestic animals. Lana, what are domestic animals? Domestic animals are the animals that are kept at home. They are kept for various reasons. Some are kept for honey, transportation, milk, meat, protection or pets. Lana, they provide job such as veterinary services, a source of income to the farmers, provide raw material for industries, include a cow, donkey, chicken, horse, rabbit, cat, dog, and others. Learners, as we continue to learn the, about the domestic animals, we also, let's also identify different domestic animals. A cow, a sheep, a chicken, a goat, a hen, a horse, a dog, a rabbit, a cat, a duck, a camel, a fish, and a dog. Learners, we have mentioned just a few domestic animals. Learners, domestic animals are important to human life. Why? Because they provide meat for food, milk, security, eggs, manual labor, and maybe also uh, may be sold uh, to generate income. Learners, some animals like cow, donkey, horse or horses, and rabbit produce waste to make manure. Manure is for uh, improving soil. Learners, how can, you, how can we care the domestic animals? It's also very important, learners, to care for animals. Domestic animals are very important to human beings, as I said earlier. Human beings take care of them because they have different uses. Domestic animals are of great, great use to us. They should be treated well and show and showed love. To care for domestic animals, they should be kept clean and treat, treated when sick. They should be taken to veterinary to be treated when they are sick. Give them medicine for good production and they are healthy. Food and water should, should be provided to the animals. Pests and parasites should be controlled and treated to ensure good health among domestic animals. They should be protected from extreme temperature. Learners, our, this point take us to homes for domestic animals, the homes of different domestic animals. We have bees. Bees live in beehives. Duck live in water, nest, donkey, stable, shed, goat, pen, pig, colt, pen, stay, camel, desert, and others fish, pond, and water uh, aquarium. Cow, cow shed, cat, catry, dog, dog, kennel, chicken, coop, coop, horse, stable, rabbit, uh, barrow, sheep, fold, pen, and cot. Learners, the domestic animals they have different uses. We want to look at the use of domestic animals. They provide food for people. We can sell them to earn money. Provide manure used for soil improvement. Used to make work easier.
for example for carrying uh, for carrying uh, people uh, for carrying uh, goods or luggage provide security use for transport to transport people and luggage use for cultural purposes such as paying dowry, fine, and sacrifice. Also, we use them as a pet. Provide us with hides, skin, which are used for making shoes, belts, clothes, and ornaments. Learners, let's also look at different uses of domestic animals to each animal. We start from a cat. What do we get from a cat? It's kept for beauty and as a pet. Pets give us companionship, provide safety against rats, mites, and uh, mice at home. It also chase, chase them and kill them. A cat live in a, a cat tree. Let's go to the next one. The next is rabbit. Rabbit provide meat meat is source of uh, meat of a rabbit is a source of proteins their skin is used to make bags rabbit pro, uh, pro, produce manure used for farmers uh, to grow crops kept for beauty at home a rabbit lives in a barrel let's look at a dog is dog important in our life yes it provides security at home, alert people in case the danger uh, is in the compound. Used for trans transport during the winter, especially the, the European countries. Provide companionship. Kept as pet, a dog lives in a kennel. Learners, let's look at a pig. Have you ever seen a pig? Have you ever seen a color of a pig? Pig also is very important. We can sell a pig to get money. It gives us meat. Meat of a pig is called pork. Provide pork and, and bacon. It is a source of proteins. Uh, provides manure for, for farmers. A pig lives in a, a sty. Let's look at a fish learners. Fish is also a source of food. It's kept for meat called fillet or fillet. Fish are kept in a fish pond, lake, and other places. Fish lives in a uh, ponds and others. Let's look at camel learners. What do we get from a camel learners? We get Camel, it helps to transport people and luggage for a long distance. Provide meat and milk. It provides manure for using in farming. Provide labor when plowing land. It provides fur. The camel, their skin is used for making leather shoes, belt, a camel live in a desert. Learners, let's look at a horse. Used for transport. Horse is used for transport activities. Used for riding. Used for during the war. Long time ago, when there was no uh, guns and so on, they used uh, guns, the machine guns, the, the, and other big, big, big uh, vehicles and tractors. They use uh, during the war. They used to use the horses because the the horse can pass anywhere. A horse lives in a stable. Learners, let's look at the bees. Bees is a small insect, but it it does wonders. Bees lives in a beehive, give us honey, which is used for food and medication and medicine or medication. Bees pollinate our fruit crops. It produces 
wax for making candles. Learners, let's look at this small animal called donkey. Donkey also is very important animal. Donkey help people uh, to transport goods such as water and luggage. A donkey live in a stable or a shed. Learners, let's look at it. Poultry. Poultry is a combination of different birds that uh, we, we farm. We have hen, cock, duck, and others. They give us meat, meat called chicken, and it produce eggs, which the, the chicken lives in a coop. Learners, let's look at sheep. If you can also sold a sheep to get money. Sheep, as other domestic animals, are source of income to the farmers. Meat of a sheep is called mutton. Provide milk, provide fur and skin, provide manure, a sheep live in a folder. Goat, you can also sold a goat to get money. You can sold a goat, uh, uh, it's, it's also a source of income to the farmers. Give us meat, provide milk, provide skin, provide manure, a goat live in a pen. Let's look at cattle. Cattle. Cattle is a cow and bull. It can be sell, it can be sold to get money. It's also a, a source of income to the farmers. It provides food, give us meat. Meat of a cow is called beef. Cow provides milk, provides skin, provides manure for farming, provides labor when plowing land. Cow and bull lives in a, a, a cattle shed or a cow shed. Learners, all domestic animals are important to us. Some domestic animals provide beauty at home, others provide security, while other, others provide us with various food products such as meat, milk, honey, eggs, and so on. Some domestic animals also provide us with the transport. The transport talk about horse, camel, and donkey. We can sell their products to earn money for a different uses, so as a source of income. Learners, do you think during our old ages, our people, they used to also to use them during the cultural ceremonies or festivals? Various communities in Kenya or in the world use some of the domestic animals during the cultural ceremonies purposes, such as paying, dower, paying for dowry during the marriage ceremony, sacrifices, paying fines, performing a burial ritual require the use of domestic animals. Some are slaughtered for meat, while the blood for others is sprinkled on the ground for different purposes or different uses. Learners, some domestic animals provide us with the hides, skin, which are used for making shoes, belt, clothes, and ornaments. Some animals are pests, are pests such as are pets. Some animals are pets, or such as cat and dog. The domestic animals and their product can be sold to earn money for different uses. Learners, we should therefore love and take care of all domestic animals. We should encourage, you should also encourage other people, other people uh, to treat them well because they are very important in our life. Learners, we have come to the end of our lesson Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. God bless you.